Hey, wait for me, says Stephanie. Okay, just for that, choose their dare, says Stephanie, as she finally caught up with us. There, I say. Okay, I do you believe me, a man you mentioned, and since you made me take up a grave, you wish for your costume to stay on forever, because supposedly all your wishes come true there, says Stephanie. I'll do it, but it's not like it's going to come true, I say. I walk into the mansion, and I make my wish, and I walk out with like nothing happened. But boy, was I wrong. Me and a friend, and suddenly my home, the night, and it was about to take my costume up, when suddenly, ah, I screamed, what's the matter, said my mom. My, my costume won't go off, I said in fear. The zipper is probably just jammed, said my mom. But, I'm not, but mom, I said, no, it's really late. I'll get it off in the morning, said my mom, the night. The house stood above them, tall and frightening. The screams rang at both of their ears, still having hope that they would make it alive. Um, okay, I guess they said as they made their way inside. It was full. The sound. It inside. It was full of silence. Why don't you go into the basement? Maddie said, also frightened. I brought an Ouija board. She said, uh, and are we going to use it? Leah said, scared. Yes, we are. Maddie stated. In the basement, it was cooler than it was upstairs, and scarier almost. The small old basement was filled with debris. They could feel the coldness of spirits hovering around them. It's freezing down here, and I said with a frightened voice. They placed the Ouija board on the middle of the floor and began. They asked, who's there, and Maddie said, shaking. Our struck on the Ouija board, then you, then end. Run. Nobody heard of these girls ever again. The only thing was it looked like there was no one there, as if it was already weird enough. It was like there was a ghost. The girls grabbed the candy and go to take their hands out of the basket, but they couldn't. It was like somebody was holding on to them. They dropped everything in fright. They were being pulled into a pitch black room. This house was definitely haunted. It sounded like there were other trick-or-treaters, but they couldn't tell. They both let out big screams as loud as they could, louder than they ever could. Everyone else in the room started to scream at too. Was anybody going to come for them? Were they going to have to stay here forever? Could they not hear them? I guess they'll never know unless someone comes. No trick-or-treaters came the next year. No one even dared to go near the place. Everyone in the room stayed there for days that turned into weeks, to months, to years, to decades. The rumors spread that they somehow escaped and some even wanted to stay. I guess they'll never know because no one came yet.